my dream. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Can y'all hear me okay? Well, you are part of my community. I'm going to say it one more time. Harrison is part of what? My community. We need to understand that. We need to understand that communities are a lot of different levels. You have the world community. You have the country community, USA. Then you have the state community, Arkansas. Then you have the municipality community, which is Harrison. And I have been involved with Harrison since I was in high school. We played the goblins years ago, just beating them like a drum. <laughs> Tim McFarland was on that team, a good personal friend of mine. And I remember hearing all these horrible stories, Mayor, about Harrison, about the people, racism, and this and that. And over the years, Bud Grisham, Bud, I want you to come up here, Bud, asleep. Come on up here, Bud. Okay? <laughs> come up here, Bud. Bud, come up here. <laughs> over the years, over the years, I've been in Harrison a lot of times, a lot of times, and it is, in my mind, one of the most wonderful communities in the state of Arkansas. You need to understand that. And this guy, you can see we're different in a lot of ways, right? <laughs> right? I'm one color, he's another color. I'm young, he's old. <laughs> I'm beautiful, he's, no, nah, just okay. But this shows you the power of relationships in spite of being different. And we have we've been we know each other for now how long? Too long. <laughs> Too long. <laughs> Probably 30, 40 years at least. And he was my tennis partner. When I moved to Dallas, we would play tennis in Dallas and he would beat me most of the time. <laughs> we would play tennis in Dallas all the time. And the temperature was how it was hot sometimes, but I don't want to think about it. 100 plus degrees. 100 plus degrees, and from that time, we've established a wonderful friendship, and he has helped me understand that it's okay to be different from each other. And within that differences, we can build up relationships and strong community. And from that, I learned that Harrison is a quality community. I spend so much time there defending Harrison, and I don't mind, because a lot of times, the image of a community is, doesn't match who they really are who they really are. And when I was listening to all the great things that you guys are going to do, I was saying, because I travel a lot, I travel through all these different small towns and big cities and all everything in between. I was saying, wow. That's the only thing I said. Wow, the community deserves this. One more time. The community what? Deserves this. You deserve it. Because I assure you, when you talk about economic, economic development, every great community has this. I live in Dallas, Texas. I used to be back in Little Rock now. And Dallas, Texas has 63 suburbs. That's how big it is. Huge community. And every community is racing to build better this. Why? Economic development. Economic development. They know that people, companies, when they look for places to start or grow their business, they're going to look at, one more time, what? Yes. And if you don't have it, and someone else does, then it's going to give them a competitive advantage. In addition to, everyone in this room deserves what we're looking at here. The place I lived in, Dallas, I could walk out my front door, and I had a trail that was five miles that could extend to eight miles. I could go to the next community and have a trail that's 10 miles. And when I saw the trail, I was like, wow, because I, I love trails, I love being outdoors. Little Rock, Arkansas, we have trails that are 10 miles long, 15 miles long. Can you imagine if we had access to a trail like that? I might even come up here and walk it. <laughs> Bud brought something to my attention. No one likes to pay, pay higher what? No one likes to pay higher what? However, with this, guess who will be paying some of the taxes? Visitors, tourists. 
So you're going to drive your revenue by having what? This. Very, very important concept to know that I saw the aquatic center. I'm like, my goodness, you know how much I pay every month on Little Rock? Just to, they have an indoor pool at my fitness center that I work out. I pay $100 per month to have access to what you are going to pay a fraction of. Amazing things that can happen within this community. It could be a source of civic pride, economic development, and my most important thought is quality of life. Everybody said quality, quality of life. That is what this is going to give you. And Harrison, you're such a wonderful, beautiful community. When you're driving to Harrison, you have all these hills. And, and I love staying at Buzz House. That's the only reason I'm nice to him. <laughs> John, he has a nice home. And my wife, she's in Milwaukee, and she's always saying, why don't we go back? Come on, we're going back at the Mr. Buzz house. I'm like, I don't know, baby. I want to go back to Mr. Buzz house because she loves Harrison and she loves the community. And I'm going to just encourage you all to do the right thing and that is to secure the future of Harrison for these young people and for you all. Be selfish. I want this for me as much as I want this for these younger people. So I'm going to encourage you to get out. I know you're going to vote, but encourage people to put this initiative and make it the reality. Vote yes times two. Vote yes times two. You all have been so gracious to me. I was looking at the old film. I'm like, gosh, this was a long time ago. I can barely see my image. However, it brings back memory of all the great times we had at the University of Arkansas, and particularly Harrison, because you all had the first diverse entity inclusion event back in 2004. Was it 2004? And you have demonstrated that you are an all-American, first-class community. And I want this to happen because I want more people to come to Harrison to see how great you guys are. So if this does not happen, you limit the number of people that's going to come to Harrison and what? See how great you are and drive your pocketbook by spending money here and making you even a better community. Thank you all very much. You've been outstanding. Mayor, I'm going to give it back to you because I know you need votes and I don't.